wrapping up our 2021 Nebraska PGA Professional Championship. Here with the 2021 champion, four consecutive, four, five of the last six, Ryan Vermeer. Let's just let's try to wrap up this week. It's a little tough because I mean the play was just so impressive. You you told me today that you think your final round was the best that you played all week, but it wasn't the best score you posted. Yeah, I mean I I was really in control of the ball. I didn't make a lot of putts today, but I also didn't hit it as close to the holes I had the last couple of rounds. I think I drove the ball better today than I had. I think I actually probably hit it in the fairway more times than I did the last couple of days, which was nice. But you know, with the lead the way that I had it, I didn't have to get greedy and fired at some of those pins that were tucked in the corners. So it was, you know, hitting it to 20 feet and two putting a lot more often. I hit a lot of putts that, you know, had a chance to maybe go in, but you know, they didn't. Um, you know, and really aside from one shot, which is kind of a, you know, hiccup that came out of nowhere, I, I played pretty much flawless today and I couldn't ask for anything else. Yeah, you, you had 20 birdies on the week to go along with an eagle. Just really one mishap that you just talked about. And let's let's go back to earlier in the season. You know, it, it seemed like you were trying to really get your game back together. And then in the last month, section tournaments, it really started to click. And it all seemed to click in this last two days. Yeah, it's, you know, it's weird. I mean, golf obviously is, you know, one day it's there and the next day it's not. And you don't really feel like there was anything different. Um, but earlier in the year, I just, I wasn't driving the ball as good as I normally do. Um, I was kind of fighting to try to find a driver that I really liked. Uh, ball shape wasn't awesome, so it was, I don't know, it was just a little more of a struggle. And instead of going out and shooting, you know, easy 400 bars, I was having to struggle to shoot one and two under. And, you know, the competition in our section's gotten better, so, you know, one and two under's not winning pro-ams anymore. So I was, uh, you know, finishing down a little bit, but, <clears throat> you know, I knew I was close. I wasn't, I wasn't far off, and I've been putting the ball this year probably as good as I can remember in a long, long time. And even when they don't go in, you know, I, I feel like I can root for it. You know, I'm hitting butts that look like they got a chance to go in. So it was just a matter of time before they started to go in. And, you know, the floodgates kind of opened up yesterday and, you know, I made a couple of days as well. And, you know, it, just being here with you right now it, and just talking, it does sound kind of like a broken record, but talk talk about how much this championship means to you. Cause I know, I know just as much as you do, how much you look forward to this week, every, every week, every year. <clears throat> yeah, it's huge. I mean, you know, to do the things that I want to do on a national level, you know, you have to take care of, you know, what you're doing in your section. You know, playing in the pro-ams and winning those is fantastic, but the section championship to qualify for the nationals and all that, I mean, this is the biggest deal. I mean, I get to play with a little bit of a free role because I'm exempt until I'm 60 years old at the next level, but I still want to win. Um, you know, my goal every year is to be national player of the year, and if you don't win this golf tournament, there's a really good chance that's not going to happen. Uh, <clears throat> so. You know, it's the biggest event on our calendar, and it definitely, you know, big payout. We get a lot of sponsors and a lot of dollars that get into this event, so it's a, it's a huge week. And now, let's let's talk more about that national championship that you guys are going to be headed to next April, Omni Barton, Texas. Um, talk about this group that we have together. You know, Judd and Jay, first first time they've been yeah. in it. Steve, it's, Nick, it's it's a, it's a crew. Yeah, it's impressive. Um, you know, the resumes of the guys that are going as far as the playing resume. You know, it's going to definitely probably be the best Nebraska's ever sent. Um, I wouldn't call them youthful necessarily, but you know, I feel like everybody's kind of young enough to, you know, go out and compete on a, on a level that, uh, you know, you, you need power anymore. You need to have distance. You need to be able to, you know, have some tournament uh, experiences to fall back on, you know, when you're playing against 312 of the best players in the country. So it's going to be really fun. And, uh, you know, I tell you what, I'm really excited that Ted Giacomo was able to, you know, get it done again because, you know, he was the one that I think got hosed the most, you know, last year with the whole COVID deal. I mean, he had, I, I honestly had no idea that that was the first time he had qualified for the national championship and to have it be canceled and not get to play. Um, you know, I felt really bad for him, so it was nice to watch him, you know, get it done today. Awesome. Well, wrapping up, last question. You know, you've, this isn't your first win, but this is the record, record low number set in this championship at 17 under. Talk about that. <clears throat> um, I mean, honestly, you know, it goes without saying, if you set goals, it gives you something to shoot for. I knew this golf course was going to be playable this week because it was soft. I've played this golf course a ton of times. I know there's birdies out there. My goal was to shoot 15 under par. I didn't know if that was the record or not, but my goal was to shoot 15 under par, and I was able to beat it by two. So, um, you know, I just think you, just like anything, you got to set your sights, you know, somewhere high and, and go try to get it, and I was able to get it done this week. Well, again, Ryan Vermeer. Director of Instruction at Happy Hollow, once again, 2021 Nebraska PGA Professional Champion. Congrats, Ryan. Thank you.